the fuck was that thing? Common Colt has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona, Izanagi. Whoa, what was that? Achievement unlocked, the other self. Nice. Did I hear you say persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? It's fucking, I don't know. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. Sensei? S sensei? Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. Scared? <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? I guess, yeah. And that's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei and then don't show me any respect? Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Yeah, all right. Now let's get back to the investigation. Yeah. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Uh, well... We should probably take a look. Voices began to echo from somewhere. Oh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store! What the... Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Uh. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father, to have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? Huh. I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Yo, we going back in time? Okay, so this is the liquor store? Not again. You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this... Hmm? It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of photo shows Seki Konishi smiling. Yosuke is standing next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. Tell me about it. P pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. 
I feel so sorry for myself. Boo hoo! Yeah? Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? Real-time mental breakdown. Yep. I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything. Especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? Th that's not true, I... You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. The more, the merrier, right? You've got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. Yeah, that's how that works. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki-senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Huh? Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? That's not true. Stop! Stop it! You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! And that senpai you were so sweet on? Her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that. I don't yeah, okay. know you. You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> That's right. Say it again. You're not me. You're nothing like me. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? What the fuck? Bro, Yosuke, did you just fucking pass out? Really? Oh my god. I am a shadow. The true self. I'll crush everything that bores me. Starting with you. Alright. Unlucky. How long can you survive this? I don't know. This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. Yeah, okay. Uh, while defending attacks to your weakness and status ailments, attacks can be blocked. It's about to let loose with a devastating attack. Or about to hit your weakness. Be sure to guard. But be careful. For you will leave the defensive stance after being hit once. Alright. I'm assuming rush is like auto. So. Let's. Try. Let's apply defense. Okay. 
Let's try this. It's a weakness. What do you know? That's not gonna work! It's guarding its weak point! Alright. Fuck you. Okay, so after it guards... Okay. Okay. I get it now. So we can just like loop this. How are you doing, Sock? That's not gonna work. Here comes an attack. Def You're getting to be a real pain. All right. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Sure about that one, Chief? Boom. Easy. Don't underestimate me. Okay. We got this. Do I have items? Stores 100 HP to an ally, 10 SP to an ally. All right. What a freaking pain in the Get out of my sight. That's fine. I'll take the extra hit. That wasn't the attack I was looking for. No, you. Alright. 3,000 yen. Not bad. 30 bucks. For killing frog, dude. 100 XP. About the surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Congratulations, Sensei! HP and SP have increased. You are now able to create personas up to level 3. Uh, something inside you has changed. Whoa, crazy. Izanagi has leveled up. Strength increased by 2. Mana has increased by 1. Or magic has increased by... Whatever it is. Smile. Hey, you good, Yosuke? I... Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? Yeah, you look like you had a bad dream. You... You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. You're still yourself. Myself. Damn it. It hurts to face yourself. Tell me about it. I knew it wasn't lying. But I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. 
strength of the heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. Hey, Yosuke. You unlocked your, uh, you know, bullshit. Yosuke has faced his other self. Obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. Persona Jiraiya. This is my persona. He got his stand, exactly. Frog Platinum. When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. Hmm. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Hmm. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows kills the host. Damn. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. Yeah, we should probably... This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Yeah. Let's go back. And yeah, the games go. They go. It goes. It goes. It goes. Hey, it goes. Teddy. It goes. You said that this place it is goes. reality for people who enter, right? It goes. Guillotine. Yeah. So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before? Did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. Probably. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. Hmm. This world killed them? The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. Yeah, you told us. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. After the fog lifted? So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Stop calling me Sensei. Senpai and that announcer. They were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. Hmm? They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Yeah, we should probably make it- I was gonna say, we should probably make it a habit of coming back here, just in case anything like this happens again. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yep. Yeah. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something, too? Shoot. If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? <sighs> I don't know. An idea? 
You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. Maybe you're the guardian. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Yeah. We have no choice. Then, will you keep your promise? Absolutely. Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. What's up? I'll be waiting for you guys here. Okay. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. Oh, God. Tibia Jun Junes? You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Really? Is that necessary? Got it? Alright. Well, pretty much. Like, is it based on physical location, or is it just like a different TV could take you anywhere? Alright, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. Where did you learn that, anyway? Also, are we not going to talk about... Cool. The fact First, that, you know, make sure there aren't any employees outlines out there. with humans on the floor and a target. Okay, go, go, go! <laughs> Squish! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! Yeah, okay. <gasps> you, you guys came back! <laughs> you okay, Chie? Huh? Chie? Whoa, what's with that face? Ow! <laughs> We should probably let her be. I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Yeah. Maybe we did go a little too far. Honestly, I thought about stopping you before all this, but... Let's apologize to her tomorrow. Yeah. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. Yeah. I think I'm going to sleep well tonight. Yeah. <laughs> well, see you in the morning. Yeah. Near the floodplain while walking home from Junes. Hmm? Hmm? Yukiko. Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Do you normally wear... Eh, whatever. Um, are you getting used to your new town in school? You don't have to, like... Yeah, whatever. Uh, somewhat. I'm glad to hear that. It must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. 
I've never been out of Inaba, so Inaba. I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> She's a real handful. Nah. I see. She's always full of energy. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. Mm. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we cut class sometimes. <laughs> oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. That's unfortunate. Um, I'll see you at school then. <laughs> Dad's late. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. Yeah, okay. I can't be the only one who sees this right. It looks like an actual screenshot from a news channel, except they just, like, pasted 3D models of anime faces, like, over, over the fucking... And it looks really weird! Like, supremely creepy! <laughs> it looks like the baby filter... <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. Jeez. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Again, really, should Nanako be listening to this? Like, fuck. <laughs> Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body... Police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. Yeah, maybe. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. Nanako's dead inside. Yeah, the only fucking solace she gets from this hell world is the fucking Juna's jingle. The body jingle. went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. <laughs> Junus is all that's left in the world. I'll be here. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Sure. Nanako seems to be very reliable for her age. I mean, damn, yeah, she fucking cooks breakfast. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. Radium-rich? Wait, what? After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Yukio is on TV, wearing a kimono. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Why is that so fucking it weird or important? Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? Is this the same reporter from before? Fucking probably. We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? My god. Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Bro. Bro. Really? Did... Don't these people have to go to school for fucking journalism? Do they not know, like, what journalistic integrity is? Huh? No, um... The reporter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring.
boring. Tell me about it. Oh, I need to do the dishes. I can help. Smile. You uh, can now check your status by pressing the command menu button. That's us. No child does the dishes. At least no child does it by themselves. Alright, what's the command menu button? Ah, here. Status. Yosuke. And, you know. What the fuck? Fuck is that thing? Jesus Christ. It's a frog! I knew it. He's French. He's the imposter! Oh, okay. So, under... Okay. So, that's under the sign of the magician. This is under the sign of the fool. Alright. Skill? You know, I probably want to heal. Whip? I still have the fucking golf club. Yeah, nothing else. Nothing else. That's what I figured. Oh, winter Yasuo outfit. Or winter clothes. Well, it's not winter yet. It's still fucking spring, as a matter of fact. Quest. No quest, no quest, no quest, no quest. Sleeping refills your HP and SP. Yeah, I was gonna ask, but I was like... Yeah. Probably should have figured. Goes a lot faster when there are two people washing the dishes. Yep. It's always nice to have an extra set of hands. Is it used very often? Blah, blah, blah. It's all still the same. Let's save. God, that's so fast. Yeah, we should check the TV in our room, considering the fact that, uh, you know, dead people have been showing up. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on the TV? In other Inaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. Yeah. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. It's global warming. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. The time is... The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. It seems to be a woman. Looks like she's wearing a kimono. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. Huh. Who do we know that wears a kimono? Kimono. What would happen if you touched the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on screen? It must be Yosuke. The image disappeared. You should speak to Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. You decide to go to bed for tonight. It's Dojima! Oh my god! Yes, it must be the Dojima family. I knew the Yakuza was behind this! This is... Welcome. 
Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. Yeah, okay. I have summoned you within your dreams. It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. Really, it does look like the inside of a fucking limousine. And so we meet again. Do you ever get sleep? Like, really, dude. Come on. You need, like, a prescription for some eye drops or something. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. Yeah, okay. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. Yeah, okay. Thereby, enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hardly glorious. Hold on to this. Obtained Velvet Key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. All right. Again, there's hardly standing space in here. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. My soul? You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Yeah, okay, so my soul. Very well. The persona you have acquired... Yeah? It is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Okay. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. All right. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. Okay. It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. Empty. The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. Yeah, okay. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. Yeah, okay. The power of these social links is what will determine your Persona's abilities. Ah, oh, fuck. I mean, I have to talk to people. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Yeah, okay. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I don't know, but you guys seem pretty fucking omnipresent. Think you could help? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. Alright, fuck you. Dickhead. More like dick nose. Now it's art. Hey, it's not raining. Yo! What's up? You saw what was on last night, right? Yeah, kind of. I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. Yeah. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. Someone's putting them in there intentionally. If someone's using that world as a weapon. That's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Uh, I don't know. Maybe someone would believe it once you show them the fucking... Uh, God damn it. I want to keep my word, too. Totally. A promise is a promise. 
You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Really? I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Yeah, hey, have you been having, uh, dreams lately? Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like, as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Alright, if you say so. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. What happens if the main character just fucking dips? Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating something about the magician. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Yeah, okay. Social links. Is this bond with Yosuke what Igor was talking about? You have established the Yosuke Hanamura social link of the Magician Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up a knockdown ally during battle. Oh, hey, we got a support. Your ally may help someone who is knocked down get back on their feet. Nice. Achie! Um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? That's what I was worried about. Huh? Y yukiko san Uh... No. At least I haven't seen her today. Oh man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? What stuff? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. It's real as far as we know. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. Yeah, makes sense. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. A few days, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. Alright. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? We might want to ditch class. No! You summed up the information you gained in the other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? Maybe. We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? We should probably help her. S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. It wouldn't hurt just to check. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but what if she's in real fucking danger? Yeah, but would she skip school for that? I'll give the inn a call. 
Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. Um. Uh. Nah. It was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. <sighs> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. <laughs> she said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. I don't know. I think it was entirely warranted. She was totally fine. It's not... <sighs> And you Whatever. were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? <laughs> Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Yeah. He explained to Chie in detail again about what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. There's people yeah. around. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Hmm? Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia. Stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? Tried beckoning Tetby over. Something bit you. What's wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you idiot! Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you okay? I don't know. I think I just became someone's snack. I think I'm gonna cry. I'm fine. I'll be all right. Wow, that looks like it hurts. Jeez, that stupid bear must have done it. Must have done it. Hey, you. We know you're in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear like all. This land feels so barren. <laughs> Shut it! So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Huh? Oh. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. That's probably for the best. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone. But still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. You exchange phone numbers with Yosuke. All right. Don't forget to watch tonight. Mm-hmm. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. Dude, what if this is all just hallucinations from lack of sleep because they're staying up past midnight every single night and they have to get up so early for fucking school?
Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. And now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. Hmm. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case regarding Saki Konishi. Yeah. She was killed oh, fuck, well I skipped after something. she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> but why shouldn't... Why wouldn't she tell the police? Either way. All we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? That I'm uh, or whatever. All right. How you doing, Nanako? Well, absorbed in the quiz show, should leave her alone. That looks like an RPG tile set. Oh no, it does look like a quiz, quiz show. Never mind, I'm dumb. Thought those fucking people were trees. I mean, wait, can I even do anything else? Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Not yet. Oh my gosh. This game has a really long intro. Also, I like how the main character has a Persona 3 calendar.
Psycho D. The fuck? Good evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I came prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. What the I fuck? I to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine. Well, here I go. What the fuck? That was definitely Yukiko on the Midnight Channel just now. Yeah. That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? Kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, a certain somebody's shadow self. And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? No. What's going on? Try to contact Yukiko. Or Chie. Or Yukiko. Or Chie. Uh, actually, probably Chie. Yukiko might be fine. You're right. Let's get her to contact Yukiko-san. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. Promise to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. Sadako. Go. go to bed early tonight. Early? It's midnight. Fuck. Oh, casual clothing, huh? Oh, good morning. Oh, it's nice and sunny outside. Seems that only Nanako is here. Where's your father? He left already. He said he's gonna be late. Ah. Sorry to hear that. Be all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? <sighs> I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. <laughs> As for next week's forecast... Do you have any friends, Nanako, that you could spend time with? Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Mm. That's no good. Sorry for the hold up. She killed them all. <laughs> yeah. Killed them all while they were doing scans in Medbay. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. What, did you find your fucking sexuality Take there, too? Take a look at these. What the fuck is wrong with you? We've got our persona. <laughs> the golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. I think I'm... So, which one strikes your fancy? Ah, uh, Jesus. I'll, um... <laughs> Who is this fucking weirdo? What the fuck? Why does he have... Is this guy a fucking terrorist? Why is he fucking brandishing swords? In the mall. Uh, I'll take the fucking katana, I guess. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. Sure it is. The blade's fake, though. As for me... 
Wait, maybe both would be good too. Kind of like this? Calm? Dude. Even if the blade is fake. Or like this. What about this? You are such a fucking... Two suspicious young males found. One armed with multiple weapons. Requesting immediate... <laughs> Crap, I mean, no, 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 this, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now. But, but this isn't... Dude. Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! As suspects. Yeah, this is a fucking... God damn it. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. Yeah. You can fucking blame Mr. Fucking... For God's sake. I don't even have a name Lucky for it. Lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Hmm? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Yeah, no. Given what's been happening, hey. I wouldn't exactly count on it. Did he say Amagi? And she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Yes, sir. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Uh, no, you must be imagining things. Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Oh, no. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. Well, it was clear out today. So we should probably head... By the way... Did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? Blame that weird-ass reporter. I agree. By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Understood. Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? <laughs> Sorry, I got it right here. Psst. Forget I said anything, please. He's gonna trip and spill the coffee. Man, I was really hoping he was gonna trip and spill the coffee. As fucked up as that is. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san? There you are! Jeez, what are you guys doing? Uh, getting arrested because of this fucking asshole. I've been
Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up! So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear! Yeah. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. Oh, wow. What? They think Yukiko did it? Oh, what the hell is wrong with them? Yeah. Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Look, we need to save her. Right! That's the important thing! With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going to! And that's final! I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what! We... Are you gonna be alright? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. We still have that golf club. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Okay, but try not to wave them around, Yosuke. Like a fucking on, idiot. Also, I like how we're just talking about this right next to this fucking receptionist and in the lobby of the police station of all places. Whoa. An actual blacksmith. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't like katanas and stuff. Why would you know about a place like this anyway? <laughs> oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. You know. Here, this one looks good, but it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! Yeah, okay. Oh, all right. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Uh. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. Yeah, and don't wave it around like an idiot. All right. <coughs> but man, what should we get? Probably, I don't know, small blade. Something that is easily wieldable. Hey, mind picking out something for me too? Oh yeah, sure. You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. See five thousand yen. Jesus Christ! It brings us to a total of what? I eight thousand. I got 000? my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? Uh, let's take a look. You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. Yeah, exactly. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Isn't it your store? Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Well, you would need something concealable. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. Also thinking like a true criminal. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. <sighs> yeah. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court.
you come to see my art, please look around. Take your time. Alright. What do you got? Fucking imitation katana. Oh, we have 12,000 yen. And you have hunting nada. So, I'm guessing the second stat is chance to hit. The first stat is damage. Right? Okay. Do you want to equip the imitation you talk? Yes. It's previously equipped. How much will it sell for? Monkey wrench. Oh wow, this is a big increase. Oh, it says the yellow number on the top. Okay. Chain mail. Ah. Uh, Asian down defense up by eight. Nah, we don't need that. What about you, Yosuke? No, you have the same. What about accessories? Uh... I don't know what that means. <laughs> You want something special? Bring me your own materials, and I'll try to use them for you. I always like seeing new things and trying new techniques. So bring me some rare materials that I've never seen before. If you do, I can make you some really cool stuff. When choosing what to create, the number and types of materials varies. Uh, if you bring me the proper materials, I can use them to create some fine pieces of art for you. But what I make is up to me. I'm the artist here, after all. I'll be expecting some praise, too. <laughs> Seems fair. Once you start this whole Yukiko debacle, the game starts to let you actually do stuff. God tier. So what's the deal with these... Like, what information am I supposed to infer from this? If any at all. Or is the game gonna teach me later? Kind of pointless later to get ones with actual effects. Okay. So these just don't do anything. Got it. Well, let's get going. Eh? There's a bizarre door before you. It seems the others can't see the door. So, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. The velvet key in your pocket is shining. We oh. have been expecting you. Hello again. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. Yep. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. Apparently. 
It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> ha ha ha. Your persona ability is that of the wild card. The fool. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. Oh my god. You have a vagina? By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. Do you think he births the personas from his nose? This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. Yeah, okay. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. This looks like this guy looks like the love child of Penguin from Batman and Gru from Despicable Me. Yep. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. All right. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. I'm hard to grasp. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. All right, so I can just come here now? If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. Yeah, okay, with fucking Igor. You recall uh, that you have the magician social link with Yosuke. It seems that when a persona of the magician arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Yeah, okay. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Okay. Please see me when you wish to use it. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room who will be helping you on your journey. Yeah, we've met. <laughs> Marie? Yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. The girl seems unfriendly. You feel that you've met her somewhere before. I've seen you somewhere. Huh? Oh, maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Why do you have fucking safety? You know, I'm not even... Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Yeet her out of the limo. Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. Uh, okay. As you can see... She may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice, and forgive her for her impoliteness. Yeah, I don't know. I got a thing for monochrome socks, though. Kappa. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. The fuck are skill cards? Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. I didn't know this was a card game. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? How could I forget? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved... Your future may be forever lost. Yeah. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. Yeah, okay. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I look forward to it. Are you going to be any less creepy by then? Until then, 
Farewell. Fucking weirdo. Also, the dude very clearly dyes his eyebrows, but not his regular hair. And that's weird as fuck. Mmm, little girl. Uh, you're the boy Nana Chan was with. I think I'll brag to you. I have a younger twin sister. We're lucky twins. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's amazing. We're the same in every way. Uh, my sister's totally worth boasting about. Nice. What's up with you? I'm with the uh, Yomanai San Sons Books too. Uh, this bookstore only sells books specially selected by the owner. It's a specialty bookstore. It carries a vastly different selection than what Junes has. It's fun to see what they carry next. The next shipment date is April 20th. 420! So you should, uh, come look too. Alright, if you say so. Can I go in? I guess not. So that's the weapon shop. What's up with you? Hey, did you hear about it too? Murder! Murder, I say! Even worse, a serial murder! I thought I could relax out here in the country, but this? I'm more tense than ever! Ah! White House reports that Trump had diarrhea on the ho helicopter while going to the hospital. I guess you could say shit's about to hit the fan. Slash ban Chet Taker. All right. What's up? You know what makes life easier when I'm talking, taking walks or shopping? The sub menu button. With just a press of the sub menu button. You can come and go as you please. Ah, the wonderful sub menu button. The ever present, press me anytime, sub menu button. Um, I know this is all kinds of weird. But, please, don't think too strangely of me. Yeah, you're just doing your job, right? It's the Marukyu Tofu Shop. All the women is tending to the store. What, you mean this sub-menu button? Alright. So that's that. Oh, I wonder, what skills does uh, Fuckface have? Oh, it doesn't let me see his bullshit. Oh, it's a confectionery. Uh, old lady Shiroku. Ah, welcome. What do you got? Medicine and value medicine. Stores 100 HP to all allies. Skill is for using skills outside of battle to heal. Oh, okay. Here, I'll, I'll buy um two medicine. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. I don't want to talk to that fucking... Lady. Seems weird. Status. Yosuke! Wait, is that... Oh, yeah. Okay, so he has Garu, Bash, and Dia? Dio! Huh? What do you want? You're not from around here, are you? I'm busy with errands. 
for my sister. <sighs> if only this was a part-time job. But doing all this for no reward? I can't believe it. The notice says that starting the 23rd, you can apply for a part-time job, but at my age, getting hired is impossible. Tell me about it. You recall that you were supposed to meet up with the... Uh, uh, fuck off! The poster. Samegawa Bojo. Bojo. Misuzo Hirai. Let's turn up inside the TV. Yep. Maybe now I can, uh... You know. That is a donation box, right? Like, I'm not fucking crazy. The fact that I can't make a donation to the shrine is kind of bullshit. I'm not too cool. What? There we go. Yes. Hey, what's really up? Stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. Why are we in our school uniforms? The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to. I'm going. Okay, jeez. Fine, but don't push yourself. Got it? Was good. Oh, it really is that bear from last time. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. You wear them whenever you go inside the TV. You hid your weapons in them, apparently. Okay, but like... Should we not, quote-unquote, hide our weapons in our normal clothes? Seems he's been thinking about himself all this time. I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna fucking kick your bare ass off this fucking platform. Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. Hehe. <laughs> uh, same. So, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. How rude! He's not lying. I was there You're too. You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow, there's a girl with a better nose than me. What's your name, Miss? M Miss, uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? I, I don't know. I haven't looked. Yeah, he said he was going to be here. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Y yeah. Sorry, we'll be going now, Teddy. You can tag along if you want. Oh, great. What the... A castle? You think this is the place they showed on TV last time? Probably. Also, you saw that too? You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and shadows here. 
There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. What beginning? I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. But how do you know that... Uh, whatever. It's not worth it. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like score myself a hot stud. Oh, that's not like her at all. Score? Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Again. Oh, I wonder. Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? Oh my god. They finally put their collective brain cell together. There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story, I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. So, Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, I don't get this at all! Also, thank you for continuing your Twitch Prime sub, Chet. I thought you were gonna fucking start subbing normally, but, you know, whatever. Five bucks is five bucks. Or two dollars forty-nine cents is two dollars forty-nine cents. Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Don't worry about it. Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead. Hey, wait, don't go alone. Yeah, what the fuck? Jeez, we better follow her. She ran off on her own. Uh, it's a lot of shadows in the castle. It'll be dangerous inside for a girl by herself. Dude, are you serious? Why didn't you tell us before? Come on, let's find Chie. Yeah. This is bad. We better hurry after Chie. It's kind of dangerous. We should catch up with her quick, Sensei. Ah, that's right. Here, take this. Revival bead. Wait, you just gave me some anal beads? Oh, this too? Myself. Give them to you. Peach seed soul drop. Off you go. Alright. I wanted to see if there was a safe point. Be careful! Anal beads save lives. She hasn't gone that far yet. Uh, wait a second. The shadows have gotten aggravated ever since you two got here. They'll probably attack as soon as they find you, Sensei. So try to get the jump on shadows before they can attack you. Press the action button to attack. Try and land uh, the attack so that the shadow does not make the first move on you. Okay, so that's the action button. Got him. I smell two enemies. Beat them up. Nice. That's it, Yosuke. One enemy down. Yo, he's just axe on his it's own. Down. Should we show him who's boss? Yeah. Okay. Ready or not, here we come. I don't know what the fuck that means, but yeah. Shuffle time. Uh, you see mysterious cards before your eyes. You recall what Igor told you. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. Uh, when enemies are defeated, a shuffle time may occur, and a number of cards will appear in your mind. Uh, these cards have various effects, but will draw. But drawing a persona card will allow you to obtain a new persona. The obtained personas can be used in battle. 
or they can be fused in the Velvet Room to give birth to new personas. In most cases, you will only be able to draw one card. Select the card that you need depending on your situation. Alright, we're definitely getting the pixie. Triggering one more during battles and defeating all enemies with uh, an all-out attack makes shuffle time occur more. Okay. Use this knowledge to defeat enemies in a way that gains the maximum amount of rewards. Welcome Pixie into your heart. Okay. We got 48 XP and 300 yen and two idea papers. You can really sensei. level up from that. God damn it. Energy? Agility? Luck. Izanagi learned Rakunda. Rakunda. Oh, endurance. Jesus Christ. So, hold on. We got this now. Status? Okay. Uh, slightly restores one ally's HP, spells panic, fear, and rage. Um, is it system? Social link? Ah, whatever. It's not important, I guess. Spells panic, fear, and rage. Increases one foe's defense for three turns. Increases one ally's defense for three turns. Deals light electric damage to one foe. Okay. So, skills can just straight up cost HP. That's pretty cool. Alright. Ooh, I found a chest. You found a chest. I found a chest. Obtain one revival. I, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The first time I saw it, I read it as revival bread. Also, I need to switch the x-axis on the camera. There we go. Fucking people with their flight simulator bullshit. Ah, oh, no. It's an ambush. There are three enemies. Oh, wait. One's down? Give instructions to allies. Oh, I see. Direct right, commands. Alright. Uh, so, I remember these guys weak to lightning. If you miss an attack, you can fall down. All right. You hit its weakness. Now's our chance. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Ready or not, here we come. We got him. So now we just. Boop. How about that? 
big in whatever. All right, I leveled up. Nice. Strength has increased by one. Endurance has increased by one, and agility has increased by one. All right, if you say so. What's back here, though? Got him. But you have to be really close, like uncomfortably close. Hang in there. Are you okay, Sensei? Here. Someone heal him. Sensei, mind your health, okay? Yeah, okay. Here, fucking heal. Two enemies! Charge through them! Okay, so if I remember, what's his nuts had the thing that did the thing and whatever. Um. Let's just fucking hit. Uh, are you alright, Sensei? Jesus. Sensei! Are you okay, Sensei? Shut the fuck up. Alright. So, I think it was... This enemy's weak to win? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. That's it, Yosuke! One enemy down! Wow, is Yosuke aiming for some overkill? Here. Alright. Uh, fucking... So wait, is the top bar HP? Or is the bottom bar HP? I guess the top bar. Let's try this. Yeah, that works out. Shuffle time. Alright. Obtain a skill card. Chariot. Obtained money increased. Uh, let's, let's get a skill card. Whatever that means. Rank 1 sword card. Obtain the skill card, Muturi. Alright. This is a mimic. Watch your health! It's not a mimic, why is it fucking bouncing around like that? Can slap skill guards on your persona to give them skills. Skill cards on your persona to give them skills. Okay. So, for instance. Oh, right. That, and then. Oh, it's not reorder? Uh, is it item? Ah, yes. Item. So it's a sword skill. Let's try it, I guess. Alright. It wasn't a mimic! But why was it bouncing? This ain't no Dark Souls, apparently. Stairs, let's go. I don't know, man. I want to get my exploration bonus. I smell two enemies. Beat them up. All right. So there's not much that Bitch Tits here can do. So he's gonna guard. Uh, you, on the other hand. 
What does this do? Cure silence. Ah, okay. I probably should have actually, um, you know, read that first. Go, Sensei! Nice you knocked partner. it down. Nice moves, partner. It's down. Let's good go. answer. Good answer. Shuffle time. Get chest key. Obtain a chest key. Yokova. Uh, I'll take the chest key. Temperance. Hey, we leveled up. One soldier up. Nice. Oh, okay. Nothing. Sorry. I, I was just pressing buttons to see what happened. Okay, and B is camera lock. Bumpers are rotation, because this is a PS... Was this a PSP game? I mean, I'd assume. Vita, okay. Left trigger does not seem to do jack. And that's to be expected, because the Vita didn't have triggers. Smile. Compared to you, Yosuke stinks. Shut up, Ted. Though I do admit, you have a knack for this stuff. Oh, right. Takes me off to hear Seti say that stuff, but I don't want to cause trouble doing my own thing in battle. So don't hesitate to order me around. Counting on you. The original Persona 4 was a PS2 game. Okay. Chia-chan is there. Yes. Chia, are you alright? Chia? She said that red looks good on me. Yukiko-san? Hated my name, Yukiko. Snow. Snow is cold and it melts quickly. It's transient, worthless. But it's perfect for me. Apart from inheriting the inn, I'm worthless. Still, Chie told me that red looks good on me. Are these Yukiko-san's inner thoughts? I remember hearing Saki Senpai's too. Yeah, this castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. Oh, you think? Yukiko. Chie was the only one who gave my life meaning. Hot. She's bright and strong, and she can do anything. She has everything that I don't. Compared to Chie, I'm. I'm. Chia protects me. She looks after my worthless life. And I... I don't deserve any of it. Chie is so kind. Yukiko, I... Chie is so kind, huh? What a joke. What?! Oh man, is that? It's just like Yosuke. Yosuke? She lost control over her suppressed self. Now it's a shadow. Are, Are we, we talking, talking about, about that, that Yukiko? Yukiko? <laughs> <laughs> she, she says I'm protecting her. her. She, she says she's worthless. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it should be. 
me, right? What are you saying? Yukiko's Yukiko, so good looking, so fair skinned, so feminine. She's the one all the guys drool over. When Yukiko looked at me with such jealousy, man, did I get a charge out of that. Yukiko knows the score. She can't do anything if I'm not around. All right. I'm better than her. Much, much better. No, I've, I've never thought that. What are we going to do? Wait. We need to protect Chie-chan right now. Not sure about that. No, don't come near me. Don't look at me. Chie, calm down. No, no, this isn't me. And you did it. Wait, stupid. Don't say anything else like that. <laughs> That's right. I'm the one who can't do anything alone. I can't win as a girl, let alone as a person. I'm pathetic. But you can go. She depends on me. <laughs> That's why she's my friend. I'll, I'll never, never lose my grip, grip on her. She's, she's too, too important, important to me. No, that's not how I think of her. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're just going to turn, turn your back and deny, deny me again? again? But, but things, things are, are different, different now. When, when the, the time comes, comes I'll be the one left standing. standing. You won't mind, right? I'm still you. Shut up! You're... Jie, no! You're not me! <laughs> Why is the shadow version more chill than the original one? I don't know. I like this one better. Can we throw out the the? Can we throw out the first Jie? Can we keep this one? The fuck is this fucking bullshit? Chie! It's coming! You have to use your powers to save Chie Chan! <laughs> Kinda hot. I came. I am a shadow! The true self! What do you guys think you're doing? Trying to defend the real me? Then you're gonna pay the price! Shut up! Quit being such a pain! Chie, just hang in there a little longer! Huh. Think, Think you, you can, can stop, stop me that easy? Yeah. Alright. This one's tough! I don't care. Um... Let's see. What is this one? Yes. Okay. First things first. Buff healer. Second. Now we need to start testing. What is the weakness point thing? Hey, it's a win. Should we show him who's boss? Yeah. Okay! Ready or not, here we come! Wow. Looks like you won't understand without a little pain! Kneel before me! Here we go! That was intense! You okay? Alright. So now we know it's wind. So...
Yosuke is dizzy. Wind resistance increased. Hmm. I'm pissed now. Good. Let's try this. Nothing. All right. Count on you. Persona. Look scornfully at Yosuke. I think I have an idea of what that means. Let's reapply defense buff. And since the resistance is not there anymore, let's do let's that. Do this, Jiraiya. Should we show him who's boss? Yes. Okay. Out of our way. Alright. Right. 20 HP, 100 HP, 10 SP. We need that. Alright. Wait, you still have wind resistance. What is this? Alright. Fucking, just fucking hit her. Let's go, partner. Yeah. Okay. Ready or not, here we come. Just fucking hit him. Are you guys idiots? Why are you protecting her like that? She's nothing but a grubby bitch. I don't know. I, I still haven't gotten my fucking OnlyFans picks yet. Spent 30,000 yen on that shit. You really think I'm not gonna get my money's worth? Alright, um... Uh, what is it? Let's just do that. We 
We need to make sure that Yosuke can Thanks. do his stuff. Should we show him who's boss? Always. All right. Ready or not, here we come. I don't even know if that's like that much of a DPS increase. All right. Sorry. Sorry? Yeah, okay. Did he just fucking cut himself? What a god. Uh, she still has wind resistance, so... Fucking, I don't know. Hit her. that medicine. Wait, still has resistance. There we go. Oof. You okay? You might want to defend yourself. Looks like we'll be using another one. We need to end this. Yeah, there we go. Hundred and twenty XP, seven thousand yen. Hey, he's an Uggy. Level up. Another level for me. Nice. So does the persona that you had out when the battle ends level up? And it doesn't, like, count personas that were out during the battle? Chie, are you okay? Okay. It's good to know. What happened? What's the matter? Got nothing to say anymore? Stop it, Chie. It's all right. But uh You're more than that thing. But I He's right. I went through the same thing. So I can understand. I mean, everyone has a side like this. Yeah, kinda get it now. You are me. A side of me I couldn't forgive. That I tried to ignore. But you still exist. You're a part of me. Alright. Sure. Whatever. She has faced her other self. Uh, she has obtained the facade used to overcome her life's hardships. The persona Tomoe. Yeah, okay. Uh, I... Um... It's true that part of me feels that way. But I wasn't lying about being friends with Yukiko. Like we didn't know that already. Chie! I'm okay. Just a little tired. Yeah. You don't look okay at all. And I bet. You can use the same power we have now. Huh? Hey, what should we do? 
Let's take a break. All right, let's get back to the entrance, though. It's dangerous around here. Good thing a main character doesn't have to spill all of his secrets. I never said I needed a break. I can still keep going. No, you need a break. Don't overdo it. It's not that we don't think you can. It's just we have to save Yukiko-san no matter what. We definitely don't want to lose someone else now in the process. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It'd be much better for us all if you had your strength back. That's why we're saying we should go back and regroup. But Yukiko's still in here, isn't she? And? Uh, I... Uh, if those were Yukiko's true feelings, then I have to tell her something. I'm not as strong as she thinks. It's because she was with me. Yeah, tell it to her. Because we were always together. I was able to act... Yeah, I don't give a shit. Well, you need to get your strength back. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. They only attack when the fog lifts here. So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? I'm positive. Good. Why? I don't get it. Uh, we don't either. Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here. And that's when the shadows attack their victim. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer and senpai. Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they died? You mean... they were killed by their other selves? The fog usually appears after it rains. But it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. Don't worry so much. We'll check the weather forecast first thing when we get back. But... but I can't turn back now! We've come so far! Yukiko's still here! She's all alone! She must be so scared! Then you tell me how much further we gotta go to reach Yukiko-san! Th that's You don't know what's up ahead! The enemies might be even stronger! If we push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san then? We can't fail no matter what! Am I wrong? <sighs> all right. All right. I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have rushed in like that by myself. Just don't do it again. No worries. We're definitely going to save Yukiko-san. Right? <sighs> right. I, uh, I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. My head feels like it's gonna split open. Are you guys okay? It's thanks to these? These. right you're not wearing the glasses oh the glasses oh, yeah. what's with those glasses did your eyesight go bad man you didn't notice until now how panicked were you Tam -ta -dum. I got a pair ready for Chie Chan too super stylish murder mystery Here accessories you go. Why didn't you whip those out earlier if you had them? I made them right now. You didn't tell me she was coming. It was all so sad and... I mean, sudden. Sadden. Huh. So that's the trick. I was wondering how you guys could see where you were going. Hey, is it alright if I keep these? So show. Shut your fucking mouth. I will fucking shove my fist so far down your throat. It's gonna come out the other side. We'll have to stop here today. 
But I'll be back with these puppies. You guys better not come here without me, got it? Yeah, let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. Yeah. If we don't work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san. Right? Right. Yeah, I agree. I promise to. Uh, deterministic. All right. So from tomorrow on, we'll try and come here as much as we can after school. And that includes days off. Yep. Hey, would you mind being our leader? All you right. were the first to get this power, and you're way better in a fight than either of us. I think uh. it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead. All right. I'm cool playing second banana. Sure, why not? Okay, we're counting on you. Yeah, you guys fucking suck. Yo, oh, I'll do nothing. I mean, I'm more the advisor type, you know? An ideas man, not an executive. Hey, everyone has their role. I'm with Yosuke. If you're the one calling the shots, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about this. I'm with Yosuke too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. Oh god, I could go for a pillow right now. Teddy, would you please stop talking? I'm really on edge right now. Fucking tell me about it. Jesus Christ. You've been unanimous, unanimously appointed team leader. Your days of pursuing this case alongside your friends have begun. I guess we now have a bond with Chie. Thou art I, and I am thou. A new bond brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed in creating personas of the Fool Arcana. Uh, investigation team social link of the Fool Arcana. You may earn an XP bonus when fusing personas of the Fool Arcana. Okay. Let's get some rest for today so we're ready for tomorrow on. Yeah, okay. And don't forget to check the weather forecast. It gets foggy after a lot of rain, so let's keep an eye out. Yeah, okay. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time. Yeah, but try not to wave your fucking gear around. Idiot. After a few days of rain, fog may set in. Keep an eye on the weather while continuing to explore the TV world. Exploring the TV world will use up your after school or afternoon time. Okay, so we actually do have to, like, allot our time properly. You decide to return to Junes and go back home. The three of you are having dinner. When you decide to hang out with people. Okay. Good to know. The news is on TV. That's all for world news tonight. Coming up next, the local news. Hmm. Ujima is quiet with a certain <sighs> expression on his face. Hey, mind if I ask something? Yeah, what's up? You aren't getting involved with any strange business, are you? No, I'm just entering TVs. What happened at the station this afternoon? It's still bothering me. Is there anything you're not telling me? Fucking Yosuke. Tell me about it. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Is something bothering you? Believe me, I, I do feel bad that I've been too caught up with work for us to have time to talk. What are you, my fucking dad? Well, what's wrong? Are you fighting? Fighting? No, we're, 
We're not having a fight. A discussion. This isn't the police station. I agreed to look after you. So don't get yourself involved in anything that could get you into trouble. All right. Thank you. Got that? And now, our weather forecast. Due to high pressure fronts from the west, that sunny spring-like weather will stay with us for a while longer. Thank God. Is this lady the one who decides the weather? <laughs> Because when she says it'll be sunny, it always is. <laughs> uh, she's not really deciding it. <laughs> Never mind. As the news continues, uh, or rather, the news continues, heedless of the heavy atmosphere. All right, what's up? It's fine. I appreciate your concern, though. Sorry. All right, let's save. All right, can we go outside? Maybe it's a normal kid if you'd be goofing around outside at night back into the city. This isn't the city, it's the countryside, and your mother trusts me to keep you safe. Not a kid anymore. I just have to trust you when you're out of my sight. But I can't just let you run around at night, you get me? So that's it. Don't go wandering around at night if you don't have any reason to go out, alright? Alright. I understand. Start to get a control what you do most days from here on out, but Ojima will keep being a dick about your nights for a bit. Alright. Do I actually get to... Oh, yes, I actually get to be in my bedroom. You can hear Nanako calling you from downstairs. The phone. Yo, we're getting a call? Someone's calling the house phone, too. Oh my god. I have something that I prepared just for you. I was going to deliver it to your house, but the situation's changed. I need you to come pick it up. Eh? Where am I? I was getting to that. I am in front of the gas station at the shopping district. You got that? Now hurry up and come pick it up. Why? My homeroom teacher needs to see me. I don't think I did something. Thank you, sir. God, what could it be at this fucking hour? Um, is there something you need to talk about? Oh, you're here sooner than I expected. This is the school jersey I got for you. Go on, take it. You obtained Yes, Ohio jersey. Put on uh, one from the equip menu. You can walk through the dungeon in that costume. Now that you've got it, get the hell out of here. I need to see this girl home. You know the way to your own house, don't you? Yeah, that's sus as hell. I'm sorry. If that girl goes missing, I know exactly who I'm gonna fucking point fingers at. Yeah, you couldn't have given it to him at school the very next day. Like, literally, it is Sunday night. You could not have given it to me Monday morning. 
Exactly. Thank you, Dojima. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh. I don't get to spend time in my room, I guess. I wonder how Chia is doing. Too much stuff happened yesterday. I hope she's back to her usual self. Right on cue. Oh, morning. Sleep well? Yep, I was out cold until this morning. Uh -huh. Um, thanks for everything yesterday. Don't mention it. It's kind of embarrassing, you know? You two were right there to see my hidden feelings and all. Hidden feelings. Don't sweat it. The same thing happened to Yosuke, right? So, what was it like? Huh? Uh, how should I put this? Oh, I nearly forgot. None of that happened when yours awakened, huh? Hmm. Could that be because you've got nothing to hide? Open book, baby. Oh, so nothing happened for you? I gotta agree that you seem like a pretty open guy. There's a funny air about you. I don't know. I guess that's what draws people to you or something like that. <laughs> Was that a compliment? <laughs> yep, it's a compliment. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> Anyways, what's most important right now is to rescue Yukiko. Yeah, the secret is literally, like, you open up his fucking skull, there's just nothing there. Void. Blank space. I'm dead set on coming. Remember, you promised. That we did. Oh, crap. I still haven't gone to the bathroom. Bro, Yosuke, how many times are you going to almost piss your pants in this game? Hey, um... What's good? Thanks for saving me. Yosuke's cool and all, but there really is something different about you. I feel like you won't let me down. Sorry, I'm gay. Oh. Uh, as it established a new bond, it brings thee closer to the truth. To be blessed. Personas of the Chariot Arcana. No, that's that's the main character's real secret. He's gay. Uh, you've established the Chie Satanaka social link of the Chariot Arcana. Chie is Paul Nerefu! You may earn an XP bonus when fusing Personas of the Chariot Arcana. Chie's determination in battle has been enhanced. Chie can now wake up a knockdown ally during battle. Oh, everyone has that ability. You haven't yet asked Chie for her contact information. Eh... Uh... Say it's for the investigation. Oh, right. You'll need this from now on, huh? Play it smooth. We have to be careful of the fog that sets in after the rain, right? Let's save her before that happens. After the rain continues for a while, it may become foggy. You must train yourself as much as possible until then. You should go to the June, June's food court on days that you want to explore the other world. After a prolonged period of rain, it may become foggy in town. If you don't rescue someone who's disappeared before the day, uh, it fogs over. The game will end. Uh, keep an eye on the weather. Report while improving your personas and equipment to be prepared for a rescue attempt. Damn. 
So if anybody dies, that's just game over. Hello, and good afternoon, all. My name is Mr. Kondo. Uh, your PE teacher. But since no one at this school teaches English, I'll be doubling up my roles. Don't be so disappointed. In fact, I've spent some time overseas. One week of vacation time, to be exact. But that's more than enough to teach a class. <laughs> We'll start with the basics. The English alphabet. Starts with the letter A, then B, then C, and then 23 more. Maybe that was a little too basic. All right, I'll give you an alphabet related pop quiz then. Let's see. Cold. Hi. The word alphabet comes from the words alpha and what other one? Bet. Beta. Good, that's correct. Comes from the first two letters of the Greek alphabet, alpha and beta. By the way, any set of Western European characters in a specific order is called an alphabet. In Japan, when we say alphabet, we're talking about the English alphabet, but it doesn't always mean the English one. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. Classes have ended for today. The fog will come after several days of rain. You must prepare to take action. Hey! You may visit facilities in town or in school, but remember to enter the TV before the fog sets in to rescue the victim. Uh, you may enter the TV from the food court in Junes. Uh, make sure that you have prepared by purchasing equipment to ready yourself for entering the TV to rescue people. Um, I mean, if the advice is not, like, spoilery or, like, just an outright answer, you know, type thing, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take advice. All right. Okay, I actually get camera control. Whee! That is a lot of motion blur. Hey. Oh, it's a transfer student. Uh, well, are you used to things here yet? Might not be all that different from the city, but is there anything you don't understand? I could explain the school to you if you need me to. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. School is pretty much divided into two sections. First, uh, all the classrooms are in the classroom building. Yep, that's where we are. Uh, this building's layout is simple. First years are on the first floor, second years on the second, third years on the third. Uh, the library is also on the second floor. Lots of students go there to study. Special activity rooms, like the music room, are in the other building, the practice building. After school, people go to that building just for their clubs and to hang out. That's about it, I think. Would you like me to explain that again? Ah, uh, no thanks. Keep saying this as often as you'd like. Get lost, you can come here and ask me again. Alright, thank you. What's Yo! up, Yosuke? Uh, Yosuke looks worried. Will you guys save Yukiko? Uh, once you have met them at the food court, you'll be able to invite them to do anything else that day. Uh, today's a bad day hmm. for me. Ah, if it isn't Mr. Trans- or if it isn't a transfer student, being a king moron's class really sucks the big one, doesn't it? Well, he's busy being angry at Amagi-san. Uh, so... I don't have to be too worried. She keeps leaving school to go help out at home. And she's really pretty, too. Well, I don't... 
uh, really get along with her, but should I thank her for taking the heat off? I don't know. Maybe. Who the fuck are you? Why are you looking so forlornly outside the window? A murder! Uh, guess I'll go straight home. Can't think of a safer place to be right now. I can't see shit. Why don't you do that, too? And you? What's your problem? Supposedly, the sports clubs are going to start accepting first-year members starting tomorrow. We ended up in King Moron's class, so we have to rely on our clubs to get any enjoyment out of school. But you're an odd case, since you started as a second-year student. What are you going to do? Alright. Uh, I'm gonna save and think I'm gonna call it for now. I've been streaming for six hours, roughly. Let me just make sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so thank you everyone for stopping by. And, uh, I look forward to playing more of this.